Hello and welcome back. In this quick video, I'm going to cover how you can actually spin up your free virtual machine VPS in AWS. And this is what you can get. So we can see an AWS page itself in a free tier. And a free tier basically means that you can enjoy all of the goodies of the free tier for 12 months, so the full year. There is also an option for Amazon EC2, and EC2 is basically the same VPS or virtual machine, call it whatever you like. And what you can get is 750 hours per month, which basically means that you can use it for whole month for 12 months straight, which ends up being full year. And what you can get is resizable compute capacity in the cloud. So uh 750 hours per month of linux rel or slash t2 micro or t3 micro and i will definitely recommend to go with a t3 which is not the best option if we talk about a whole aws uh, ec2 offering but it is definitely better than t2 uh dependent on a region and 750 hours per month of windows same t2 and t3 and 750 hundred 750 hours uh, per month of public IPv4 address, regardless of the instance type. So you will also be able to get um, your own static IP address publicly accessible so that you can try and access your server on which you probably plan to run something from the global internet, right? And to make all of this happen, by the way, I'm also going to suggest some small tip just to make sure that you do stay within the free tier and you don't have any extra extra charges. But first thing first, we need to sign up and to sign up. Well, you need to create your own account, uh, which will require email address and also some sort of AWS account name, which I'm going to do right now. OK, so eventually we did get uh, we did get to sign up and got inside my profile. The registration form and, and process took uh, some couple of like five minutes. You need to fill in your uh, billing details, your full name, your email, your location, your mobile phone number. And it's also mandatory to provide a payment method, which is going to be the credit card. And for that, feel free to use just disposable credit card and you can even like delete it after uh, signing up to AWS and creating your free EC2 just to make sure that unless something creepy happens, you don't actually have to pay anything. So when you are inside AWS, you apparently need to log in with the account that you just created. Feel free to just search. I guess that's going to be the easiest option for everyone. Search for EC2, which in AWS uh, stands as uh, stands for a virtual machine. And we found out that we actually need to complete our registration. Thanks for signing up for Amazon. We direct you to this page and you have not finished registering. Make sure to have done the following. So again, one minute break. Let me finish the registration. OK, so here we basically just choose the plan. Uh, apparently, if we are applying for the free virtual machine, free VPS, then I guess we're not planning to pay for the actual AWS usage. So feel free to go with a basic support, which means the free tier and smash the button complete sign up. Congratulations. Thank you for signing up with AWS. And there we go. We have our page accessible, which is the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, which stands for EC2 create, manage, and monitor virtual servers. So what we need to do is obviously we need to go to the instances and we need to launch our own instance. So we must call it some way. And I'm going to call it uh, subscribe to um, YouTube just for funsies, right? And then we need to choose operating system. But keep in mind, remember in our first page, we have this listed that it is supported only for Linux, RHEL, or SLES, unless you want to go with a Windows. So I'm going to go with RHEL, right? Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10, HVM, architecture 64-bit, uh, AMI, that's going to be basically the operating system that's going to be installed on it. Then we need to check uh, instance type. And for instance type, there are, you see, it even states uh, free tier eligible. And then we also need to find our T3 micro, which doesn't actually state that there's the free tier, which is interesting. Let us try. Nope. Okay. So apparently we can get only 
only T2, so perhaps something has changed. Um, yeah, additional costs apply for AMIs with pre-installed software. Uh, keeper required, so proceed without a keeper. I'm not planning to actually log in, but uh, that's going to be uh, when you want to connect to your virtual machine if you want to use the keys instead of just a uh, plain password. Network settings, so you can create your own security group if you want, allow SSH traffic from default is anywhere if you care about a security you can specify just your um ip address from which you will always be connecting to it allow http or https depending on what are your needs what are you deploying on this vps config uh, configure storage free tier eligible customers can get up to 30 gigabytes of ebs general purpose so we can actually do it like this and uh I think domain join directory, instance profile, place credit specification. Yeah, this is actually important. Credit specification. This is what I wanted to mention previously. Like normally T2 and 3.2 instances, they are are running with the CPU credits. So AWS AWS actually thinks that you will be running like let's say within reasonable limits of your CPU usage, which I don't remember, I think was like 20% utilization. But if you deploy something heavy and it runs for like 100%, they can charge you uh, some extra cost for using the CPU credits. So that happens only with the unlimited mode. But since the default is selected standard, then basically what is going to happen when your utilization exceeds what is acceptable, I think it was 20%. So let's say it runs for 100. It starts to eat up CPU credits, which are generating during the time when your instance runs below the threshold of CPU utilization. And when those CPU credits run out, so with a standard mode, your CPU is just going to be throttled, which is not great because most likely your application or service or whatever you're running is going to start a lag. Uh, but, uh, well, what can you expect from, uh, from a tier, a free tier? right? So the standard is good. If you want to have like a good virtual machine without all of those limitations for a very decent price, you should definitely look for the uh, for the Hesner cloud. And I still have a video about that as well. So kind of those are the only things that we need to do. So feel free to click launch instance. This is going to take us a minute or two uh, to make sure that the instance is running. Then we can go back to the instances and wait when it's actually going to be running and here is our instance it is running here is our name subscribe to youtube somewhere here uh public ipv4 dns and here is our public ip address that we can actually use to sign up and if you want to log into the instance you can also open it uh, click connect and connect using public or private user doesn't matter um here is the option to connect through the ssh but we can click connect and this should also open the terminal to our newly created uh, free VPS or establishing SSH connection to your instance. So let's try to do it like this. Connect uh, using a private IP. Select endpoint. Okay, it requires to create an endpoint. So basically the best option for you is to uh, run with, uh, with SSH client. So just use like or mobix term or just a plain terminal from your windows or mac or, or a linux machine and you will gain access to your virtual machine so if you run it like this uh, with a t2 micro and uh, less than less or equal uh, than 30 gigs of the storage gpt gp3 then you are safe to use this for free. Uh, it's actually initializing. That's why I was not able to connect. So it's still like instance is running, but it's initializing. Um, if you will stay within these limits, then you will get your virtual, ma virtual machine for free for 12 months. So hope this is what you are seeking for. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that subscribe button and we'll see you later. Goodbye.